Hello YouTube, it's St. Riot, and today I'm doing something a little different. I'm making a new build. I am making a quality build, which means uh, roughly even strength and dexterity stats. I'm not exactly sure what the spread will be when the build is finished, but I know that that's in the ballpark of what I'm aiming for is a quality build. Hey, a fun fact, we call it quality build because that's what it was called when you infused your weapon uh, to have both strength and deck scaling back in Demon Souls, and we just have not changed the name as 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 a community. We just haven't changed the name. Most of the invasions you're going to see here are at the plus eight weapon upgrade range. My weapon might not be plus eight, but I have a plus eight weapon in my inventory, which means that uh, I'm just kind of stuck at that range at least. The level range could be anywhere from, I think, uh, 40 to 60 as, as the invasions go on. These first few invasions were taken over, um, you know, all at the same time, and it's been a few days. And as we get towards the later invasions, I, I just saved these these invasion clips because they were fun. Um, but I thought it might be nice to sort of document uh, the types of invasions you're getting at each level range. Look at a swift little spin slash combo. Ooh. We're using the Lord Sworn Straight Sword and the Black Beast Heater Shield at the moment. And we've got Spinning Slash set as our Ash of War. And these two were really, uh, you know, overzealous about killing me. And they've angered Big Cat. However, Big Cat can also hit me, which is something I have to keep in mind. So, right now, I have a composite bow. I got a better bow later down the line, but most of these invasions you're just going to see uh, the composite bow. And it basically is just something that allows me to shoot at people so like they have to at least be thinking about stuff. It doesn't... I'm not trying to give them a moment of peace, you know? I want them constantly having to worry about something happening. Uh, I don't know what this phantom has going on, but if you pay attention, I'm pretty sure they never heal, but they manage to regen quite a lot of their health. Uh, I assume they've got that talisman that does regeneration. They might have something else, but I don't know what it is or what it might be because they get a lot of health just over this little course of us fighting in the, uh, in the little room here. Shield pokes are extraordinarily strong in uh, Elden Ring. Shields are one of those things that will always be strong and will always be overpowered. Um, and PvP people will uh, get upset with it. And they want some sort of like balance brought to shields. Uh, but they don't realize that shields have to be good because PvE players rely on them to beat the game. And so they're never going to get nerfed. Ever. So this was a fun little invasion in Stormvale Castle. That was nice. Um, I think we're probably around level 40. And like I said, our weapon upgrade is at the plus 8 at this point. Um, I would also like to point something out, but I totally forgot what it was. So I won't point it out. Instead, I'll just uh, call the action on this next invasion. Here we go. Uh, we're fighting Simp Andy, who is a solo host who has been invaded. I know people were... Uh, you know, there are there are a few people who who wanted to be invaded as solo hosts, and um, so you can you can absolutely be invaded as a solo host. Um, if all you're looking for is you know this sort of one versus one confrontation, you can also just summon a duelist from the summoning uh, effigy. So that's another thing you can do. But if you want to actually be invaded, like as you play through the level, as a solo host, you can use the Taunter's Tongue item to get invaded. Uh, Simp Andy here probably would have been better off 
uh, using the the duelist side. A little verticality. So early in the game, um, one of the NPC quests will sort of hand over a plus eight weapon to you. And even if you don't have a plus eight weapon, it now throws you in to that plus eight weapon category. Uh, we are in a new place. My sword is now plus eight. So we're still in that plus eight category, but now at least it makes sense because the weapon we're using is plus eight at least. Um, you might be able to get a glimpse of my build in some of these spots where I pull up my menu or whatever. I'm not going to take the time to look for it. But basically, I've got a whole lot of vigor uh, and probably around 16 and 16 strength and dex. Maybe 18 and 18 by this point. I'm not sure. I'm also going for a little bit of endurance as well. Thankfully, that attack seems to have very little hyper armor, so you can interrupt it. They've nerfed it. I don't know how bad they nerfed it. But before the nerf, that uh, that weapon art was wild. It was really strong. I was trying to use the sky shot Ash of War there. It's not very good. Uh... It has literally zero tracking, none. Nada. No tracking. You cannot... If you shoot and they move, then it's... You know what I mean? It's done. Um, it should do a million damage. If, if it's not going to have any tracking, it should just kill people in one hit. And basically be the anti-camp shot. These two, obviously, playing to their strength, sticking together, um, and they're trying their best not to let me incorporate any regular enemies uh, into the fight. They want to have that pure numbers advantage, uh, which, you know, makes sense. People are... I know invaders oftentimes get mad at it, but, uh, I mean, it, it's, like, what, that's, that's what they have. That's, <laughs> that's their, that's their game plan. Um, it's their game plan because it's their, you know, the biggest thing they got going for them. This fellow's already been parried once, and he is just not afraid to spam R1. Just doesn't care. They roll from these arrows like they're going to do 4,000 damage. Honestly, kind of lucky that, that Riposte didn't just one-shot me. Most Riposte at, at level 90 on my, my uh, Moonlight build... At level 90, if you get reposted, like, that's it. You're gone. Game over. My Wonders Physique at this point, uh, not exactly great. Um, but better than nothing. I've also switched from Spinning Slash to Sword Dance here. Sword Dance had interesting guard break, uh, characteristics in Dark Souls 3. I'm not sure if it retained those in Elden Ring, um, but it is a guaranteed combo. The L2 is two attacks that are guaranteed to combo, and then you press L2 again to follow it up with that slam attack. Uh, that is not a guaranteed combo at all. Um, so you, 
you might be better off not doing it or replacing it with an R1. Maybe even an R2 or a jump attack. Maybe even a crouch attack. At this point, you can see I'm invading in carry and manner, but I haven't actually um, completed the carry and manner yet. So I don't have access to carry and retaliation, which is a... That's a shield weapon art that does a parry, but it also snatches any magic that you parry and turns it into glint swords uh, that do damage to your opponents. It basically is a free cast of glint sword. Um, what, uh, what is it? Glint sword phalanx, I think is what it's called. Now, the weapon... I'm sorry, the Ash of War. I almost called it a weapon art. The Ash of War is obviously bugged in some instances. Revion recently put out a YouTube video going over carrying retaliation. And there are definitely instances where it's bugged, and there are definitely builds that you can make that make carrying retaliation just insanely strong. Um, beyond what is obviously intended. Having said that, I know a lot of people are dreading when they nerf it because it is such a good anti-magic tool for an invader to have. Um, you know, or whoever. A good anti-magic tool to have if you're fighting someone who is just content to spam spells at you. Uh, you can just turn it around and kill them, which is absolutely awesome. Alternatively, if you're fighting, if you are, if you are an invader and you're fighting like two or three gankers, carrying retaliation will oftentimes one-shot one of the phantoms. So you can use someone's magic to kill their teammate, and I mean that's the best thing in the world. Okay, so because of that. People are worried about uh, when the inevitable nerf to carry in retaliation comes, that carry in retaliation will be bad. But um, I don't really see carry in retaliation ever being bad. I don't think you're going to get, you know, 3,000 damage out of one bullet like you currently can uh, if you're all set up for it. But, you know, you, you shouldn't need that. <laughs> you shouldn't be fighting anyone who has 9,000 HP or whatever. Um, okay, so this strategy here, this is a strategy that, um, I don't know that I should be playing with it yet, but I can't break myself of doing it. In Dark Souls 3, I would happily engage, um, a 2v1 with no backup from the mobs up until I ran out of Estus. And at this point, I'm going to make myself, like, almost impossible to kill. If you want to kill me, you're going to have to come get me. I have very little health left, and, you know, I'm not just gonna, like, walk out here and make it easy for you. They know I have low health, they see that I'm not healing, and this is where the invasion gets good or bad, depending on how you look at it. Some people hate this. They're like, oh, bro, you invaded me. Just come fight. And it's like, yeah, I did invade you, but, like, I'm not... It's like walking into a boss fight and being like, I'm just gonna let this dude kill me. I walked into his... I walked into his, his boss room. I interrupted him. I'm just gonna let him kill me. No, bro. I'm gonna make you earn it. Earn it. The bow here giving me a chance to, um... The bow here has given me a chance to put out some damage, sure, but it's also given me a chance to gauge my opponent's um, resources. If this phantom is not healing, then it stands to reason that they're out of their flask. They don't have any left. And if they don't have any left, then um, if I can get rid of them, I can get a flask. And if I get a flask, this becomes, you know, by, by defeating them, this suddenly becomes a 180-degree turn, right? Now, I don't have to fight two players. Now, I have full health, and I only have to beat the host. So, this is a sort of, like, feeling out process. And I know a lot of invaders will do this feeling out process at the start of an invasion. 
Um, he's trying to cast something, uh, and his health has has he's regained his health. So I assume he he cast some sort of like healing incantation. Um, but he was like doing the I can't cast this spell animation over and over again. And that could mean he was on the wrong spell. He was, like, toggled onto the wrong spell. Or it could mean he's out of FP. Either way, I've, you know, I've learned something. He's either an idiot or he's he's completely out of resources. But this sort of feeling out process, to go back to what I was saying, this feeling out process, um... A lot of invaders will do it at the start of an invasion. I prefer to do it at the end of the invasion. If I do it at the end of the invasion, I you have an incentive to come kill me. If you do it at the start of the invasion, the host and his phantom, they have no incentive to come kill you. Uh, you know, they're not just going to run in and fight you when you've got five Estus or whatever. But now you have, you know I'm out of Estus and you know I don't have a lot of health. And since that's the case, um, you know, they're, they're more incentivized to actually come and try and kill me. You can see I've regened um, a little more than a half a bar of health off of just that talisman. So we can switch back to our Erd Tree talisman. And I'm going to act like I'm running over here, and then I know this guy's going to drop down as soon as I start to run. Because he wants to go to... He wants to go to the, uh, the summon thing. Try and summon again. But we're not going to let him. We're going to make him fight. Also, you know, uh, props props to this host with the Ashina uh, character name and the, the samurai gear. That's nice. The recovery on those Ashes of War can be pretty long. So that guard break counter, um, not particularly, you know, uh, it's very situational in PvP. But in this situation, it works great. The Ash of War on that katana has a pretty long recovery and my opponent kept trying to attack out of it. And as a result, uh, I was able to use that guard counter to, um, to some decent effect. It does decent damage compared, like it does more damage than an R1. So why not take that if I can? Here we have Guts. It looks like his build's not finished. Uh, Guts is running through a dungeon solo, um, looking to be invaded. And he's got on the thing that allows him to summon uh, Hunters who will come and try and kill invaders. We're still using Sword Dance. I believe at this point we have Carry and Retaliation on our shield. So there you see the Sword Dance L2. True combos. It's 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 a two hit. I don't know if you can even call that a true combo, but. Um, it has two hits to it, and an attack having two hits to it uh, is noteworthy if for no other reason than it's two hits. Sometimes you'll see people use buffs that make them take less damage from a, a, a hit. So if you hit them with that, you get rid of the buff and you get one hit's worth of damage. Guts is uh, happy to just dodge my attacks for a while until he gets some help. I do not have carry in retaliation yet. I believe I had bought it. I guess I just hadn't put it on the shield yet. Now that there's two of them, they're a little more inclined to chase me. These skeletons aren't going to, like, you know, win the game for me or anything. But uh, they can help me out. 
basically, I just need to make a, something happen, and something happens. Another hunter has shown up, and so this host seems willing to fight, thinking that he's got backup coming. I have to be aware that that hunter could show up uh, at any time, so you'll see me, like, checking corners and exits and stuff. And it's about here, I guess, that the host realizes that the, the hunter is not going to show up soon enough. When I was a kid, they used to have these things called phone books. It was just a big book that uh, had everybody's phone number in it. And they would just give it to you for free. It would just show up on your door. <laughs> and the, the, the ad slogan, the slogan of uh, the phone book was, let your fingers do the walking. And that's sort of what we're doing with uh, the bow there, the composite bow. It can be a pain to try and chase someone uh, and hit them as they're low on health. And my bow's not doing a lot of damage, but it's sort of a proof of concept of how chasing someone with a bow uh, could work out. We finally have carry and retaliation. I see that now. Uh, we're doing three versus one in Stormvale. We've got the Bleed Host with dual Reduvias, uh, the Ultra Greatsword Holy Guy, and this other person, I think, who casts magic. Yeah, they're casting uh, Rock Sling, which is an awesome spell. Absolutely, absolutely awesome. Um, not a guaranteed hit in PvP by any means, but if it does hit, you'll feel it. I learned something in this invasion. I'll point it out when it happens. So, we're 3v1, but these dudes aren't, like, over-leveled. Um, you know, they're not, like, using crazy OP builds or whatever. So, I'm not using any, like, crazy OP strats, basically. I I'm, I'm content to fight these guys just three-on-one. And if I win, I win. And if I lose, I lose. Look at the bleed buildup on the Reduvia. I've got enough poise to hyper armor through a dagger hit. And, uh, that works out great. I did not know that would work. We carrion retaliationed the Reduvia's Ash of War, where it slings blood at you. I didn't know that would work. But it did, it worked. Right here, we're a little higher level. I'd say we're probably close to 50, and I think we're at plus 11. If I open up my menu, you can sort of double check that. So this is carrying retaliation, just absolutely brutal. You're gonna really see it shine in this invasion. 2v1, they're casting magic, which can be a problem, but... Call an ambulance, but not for me. <laughs> So that's the quality build, we're working on it, and um, yeah, it's still going. There will be more of these videos as I do more invasions as I level up. I appreciate you hanging out, watching the video, hope you enjoyed it, and uh, I'll see you next time.